Hello. Taste mate. Seasoning containers. They're like a teardrop design. So let's let's get inside here and see what what we have. So it comes with a little stand. We have our salt and pepper shaker. And we have the post. So it looks like the screw the screw is in the bottom. So you just pop the screw through the bottom. And twist it in. It has a little logo, the taste mate down there. I actually like it when things have their logo on their products. I kind of like that because then if I like this product down the road, I'll be like, hey, taste mate. And then I'll look for other stuff from the same company because I like what I got from the company. So I think these are really unusual. So we have a salt and a pepper. I'm just checking for directions just in case there's any kind of directions in there. So we have a three hole and a four hole. And if my memory serves me correct, the less holes would be for the salt and the more for the pepper. So this is the little fill port. You just pop it out. Now, if you have a like a little funnel, that's going to be your best bet. I don't have a little funnel, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if folding the paper. I'm going to do some folded papery. So we're going to try pepper first. So. Let's just pop it off. Let's roll up a doobie. No, let's not roll up a pepper doobie. <laughs> no, I don't smoke pot anymore. Ugh, pepper. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put my finger on those holes so it doesn't come out. And then I, at the fold, I am going to pour some in. I need some more. Let's see what's in there. It's like halfway. So I'm, I've always been meaning to get one of those funnels, but I just never do. It seems like I always have something better to spend my money on. Make sure you keep your finger on those little holes so you don't get a leak. I'm always pushing the limits, you know? <laughs> I think I'm going to put the rest back in the pepper bottle. Then you just make sure you get it all in there. Don't blow on it. Don't blow on it or else it'll get you. And then you just pop that back in. Make sure it's in there. I don't think I spilled any. 
So that is just so adorable. I mean, that is seriously cute. It's like a teardrop. I, I love it. I love anything that's unusual. And my, I, I see cuteness in a lot of things. I think that's cute. Then it just fits right there. It's adorable. So let's uh, do the same with our salt. Again, pop out the bottom. Uh, I'm going to squish my salt up a little bit more to make sure it's going to be small enough to come through the holes. Squish, squish, squish. I, this one has a little spout on it, so I'm going to, again, put your fingers on those holes so it doesn't come out. Get in there! I spilled a little bit of this already. So my, my clear spilling record has been broken. I love when stuff comes with a spout because it just makes things easier. I'm not going to try to overfill this one because I don't want to make a mess. And that's it. And I barely, barely, barely spilled any. So I'm good with that. So, voila. There we go. I am so surprised that I didn't sneeze my face off from the pepper, but it's so, that is so cute. So you can set them however you want, you can put them out, put them in. Oh, I like that one right there. That's a nice look. What I like about this is this is going to fit right on top of, you know the ledge on the back of your stove? There's like, the dials are here. And then there's a ledge. This is going to fit right back there. And that's where I like to keep my salt and pepper. As you can see, my kitchen table always ends up, well, this is video day. So all my stuff for videos is on the table. Usually I have a setup in my room, but because I am messing with food, I'm not going to do that in my room. So out here, I have all my foody stuff out here. But uh, yeah. But I normally keep my salt and pepper on the back of the stove. This way if I'm cooking, it's there. And then, usually they're just sitting up there like this. But with this, now I will just bring this over to the table when we eat. Plop it on down. And we're good to go. So, I will put the link to this product down below in the information part uh, under the video. And, uh... They have a storefront because I have another one of their products here that I was just trying to make a video and uh, I misunderstood some of the directions. Uh, this was for a grinder and I, I kind of messed up putting stuff in the wrong spot. But um, yeah. I, I put in the Himalayan sea salt in the bottom and it was a coarser grind but not coarse enough so it just came out the bottom. So I'm going to, I cleaned it. And uh, I'm going to put uh, pepper, pepper, what do you call them? I'm going to call them seeds. Are these seeds? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. I'm going to put some pepper balls in there. Anyway, I digress. So they obviously have more products. So I'm going to put their storefront URL right underneath too. So you can either go right to this URL and just peek at this. Or you can go to the storefront and see everything they have. So I like that stainless steel, stainless steel, their stuff is matching. Um, I haven't been to the storefront to see everything they have, but uh, hey, I love looking around on Amazon. Amazon has such great products, diverse. I mean, I have never seen this anywhere. And I can tell you that when my friends come over, they're going to be like, oh my goodness. That is so cute and so unusual because I know that's how my friends think. They're going to be like, where did you get that? And I'll be like, Amazon. <laughs> Amazon has everything. Amazon has taken over our life. So anyway, 
I think it's cute. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. And uh, as usual, please subscribe to my video. I don't have anything silly to say today because I'm tired. I think it's 4 o'clock in the morning. No, wait, it's 6. I was doing videos last night and then I couldn't go to sleep. So I'm up. I have to take my mom to the doctor's tomorrow. Um, as you know, she, both my mom and dad have pneumonia, so it's been crazy. Sometimes when I'm overloaded, I actually have trouble sleeping when I'm really tired, though. Kind of makes no sense at all, but for some reason, overtired mode, I lay there because I knew I have to get up early, and I just got so much I need to do, so it's, it's on my brain. I guess that's what kept me up. So I'm laying there looking at the ceiling thinking, just make some more videos and get them done. So I did. That's why I'm here. Alrighty, so hop on over to Amazon and take a look. I'll give you a closer look. Mm, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Yes. Come and get me, big boy. <laughs> you know you want me. Come and get me. I will treat you right, baby. <laughs> God, help me.